This summer, we're getting honest about summer blockbusters, past and present. This is Honest Trailers Blockbuster Summer. Now that you've finished The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, given up on Artemis Fowl after 10 minutes, and put Zenimation on in the background while you text. It's time to squeeze the last bit of value out of your seven bucks a month by revisiting the low-budget spin-off of a syndicated Disney afternoon show yeah. that clocks in under 80 minutes with credits. It is one of the best films of an otherwise soft era for the Big D. Sorry, Dinosaur, at least you only cost, wow, $127 million in 20 years ago money. Alrighty then, a Goofy movie. Welcome to the world of Goofy where the fish are fish, the birds are birds, and everyone else is somewhere on the spectrum between dog, cat, and man, where you'll see slapstick legend Goofy like you've never seen him before. A suburban dad desperately trying to connect with the son who hates him. What the heck are you trying to do? I'm trying to get away from you. What kind of yucked up kids movie is this? <laughs> Every teenager thinks their parents are the most embarrassing people in the world, but only Goofy's son Max can make a solid case for it. He's out to ditch his dad and get with Roxanne, a girl he's never spoken to. She finally says hi to me, but puts on a pedestal and is so thirsty for, he literally sees her in the water. Eh, can't blame him. The mid-90s were a golden age for animated love interests. Together, this goof troop will set off on a road trip across a post-apocalyptic mirror dimension that's geographically identical to our own and bond as they narrowly avoid committing vehicular homicides. Dad, you got this. Kill. <laughs> Kill a mine and rescue Max's best friend from his abusive dad? If my dad catches me with this, he'll kill me. If my dad finds out, he's gonna nuke my entire existence. My dad is gonna smash me like a bug. Uh-oh. In a film that teaches us the importance of clear and honest father-son communication. But since it has the same screenwriter as Aladdin, it also teaches us how lying to girls just makes them like you more. I really am a prince. My dad, um, no, no, snow's power line. Oh, yuck off. <laughs> yuck, yuck. <laughs> so buckle up for the Disney adventure with the biggest heart and the lowest stakes, where instead of rescuing a kingdom or breaking an ancient curse, the hero must endure spending time with an actually alive parent. Speaking of which, where is Max's mom anyway? Full of amazing songs from Tevin Campbell as Powerline. <laughs> Skippable songs from Goofy. Do you long to shed your weary load? And the exact amount of Polly Shore before it gets obnoxious. Look, it's the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. Huh. That's it. Stop right there. Perfect. Not a second more. Story: The Dog Father, Lil Bow Wow. Why, diddly ho, neighborino. Wait, his name is PJ Pete, Pete Junior Pete, and his dad is Pete Pete. How did their civilization last this long? Kelly Kapupski. Skipping school? Inconceivable! Cheese the juice. And all dogs flow to Tevin. Mad Max Furry Road Trip. So, are we gonna talk about how they're being followed by nuns everywhere they go? Hey, you guys were way harsh on my movie. I don't even know why PJ and Bobby like these videos. I'm a goofy goober. You're a goofy goober. We're all goofy goobers. Uh, yup. <clears throat> Tostitos, Doritos, Fritos, Cheetos, they're all Eatos. Get crazy with the cheese whiz. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E.